Stay home order ends tonight. Texas gearing up for phase one of reopening businesses. Yeah, this move comes even as coronavirus cases continue to slowly rise statewide. And as the FDA prepares to possibly approve a coronavirus treatment that's even been worked on right here in Houston. We want to join health reporter Haley Hernandez right now. Haley, tell us about remdesivir. That's what we've been talking about all morning. Yeah, good morning, guys. So uh, the company who makes remdesivir released the results of their study, and here's what I can tell you. It looks good. I've been keeping you updated on the uh, testing for this drug for weeks now, and remember, in previous trials, remdesivir was not successful, but researchers say that study in China was done too late. There weren't enough people actually in the study, so the small the group was small that, were, that was actually getting the remdesivir, and some say the study got cut short. Now, American researchers are finding patients who take the drug recover faster than others. Houston Methodist Hospital tells us that. They are part of the U.S. study, and doctors there tell us of the 50 patients they've given the drug to, 30 have recovered and gone home. Now, these weren't mild cases either. They say we're talking about patients on ventilators or in the ICU. Those are the ones close to death, and they have made a total turnaround. Now, the nation's top Dr. Anthony Fauci says he's planning to issue an emergency use authorization that's needed for more patients to get this drug. We think it's really a, a opening the door to the fact that we now have the capability of treating. And I can guarantee you, as more people, more companies, more investigators get involved, it's going to get better and better. So you know that typically scientists want to pump the brakes until they know something is entirely safe, but Fauci says there is clear-cut evidence this works, and they have an ethical obligation to immediately let people who are in the placebo group know they are not getting this drug so that they, those patients can then have access to other trials that could help them.